one on the near the future expansion that is the river no so we have a bridge there that connects to our clubhouse okay so but please don't worry because we are already reinforcing no and doing something to make sure that um it, we, the our homeowners are protected with the river and we are also putting grills to ensure that um there will be no guard bridge no so um we are uh we also have here in the front our future ex expansion or future development and then when you see this red rectangular thing no at the front this will be our retail strip so aside from the housing project we will be able to um put a retail strip just like any other um Casamira brand no or Casamira project uh, like for example our Casamira Dana we're in in front of the development we have placed a retail strip okay now for the further details no the exact address or location of our Casamira homes book one is in KM8 Barangay Ampayon Butuan City okay so phase one is a total of 676 units Okay, and then um, project type is residential. We are offering, as I've said, townhouse and single detached units. And then the terrain is to flat to gently sloping terrain. So it's a total of 11 hectares. And then um, we also have features like the main entrance with guardhouse. We have the perimeter fence. And of course, no, we are very famous of our landscaping because we ensure that there are a lot of green um plants and grasses, no open spaces for our unit owners. And then utilities is our MRF or the material recovery facility. So this pertains to the garbage collection. And then we also have elevated water tank. Now, um, aside from the elevated water tank, no, we are also tapping, no, tapping uh, with a local water provider here in Botuan, no, so as a backup. So we have two. Okay, now services, of course, uh, we have property management services. Now, so if you're very, very familiar with our Casamira homes, this is a very, very easy sell to all of you because it's all the same, no? It's all the same good, the, the design of the house. So this one is um, the townhouse A. The typical floor area is 42 square meters to um, 42.18 and then um, the lot area is 48 square meters, okay? So um, this is a two-bedroom unit, one toilet and bath, one powder room. You have a balconet, and also we have a carport, okay? So um, you can see on the right side, we have the floor layout, no? And then this is the end unit of Model A. Now, the only difference is that the lot area because this time the lot area is bigger it's 66 square meters then we also have townhouse b now townhouse b is a little bit bigger than the townhouse a with a typical floor area of 48.41 to 48.42 square meters and then the lot area is 48 square meters it is still a two, two bedroom unit one toilet and bath one powder room we have a balconet and a carport, no? And then we also have the end unit. In the same lot area with um, townhouse A, that's 66 square meter. Now, the biggest house that we have for the townhouses is our townhouse C. Um, typical floor area is 61.69 to uh, 0.7. Okay, so this is a bigger unit because this is a three-bedroom unit, one toilet and bath, one powder room, we have balconet and carport. Now, the typical lot area is 60 square meters. So, we're at 60 by 60 in Isha, no? for an easy recall. Okay, so this is, again, this is the biggest house, no? um, a three-bedroom unit. Okay, we also have the end unit. Um, this time, the lot area, instead of 66, instead of 60, that's 78 square meters. Okay, so this is, mostly the end corner unit that a lot will be looking for. Now, that is our townhouse um, design. So this one, we have a single detached unit. Floor area is 53.24 square meters. 
and then the lot area is 80. Now, um, I'd like to address, no, okay, um, all of you are very, very keen to details. No, um, if you notice, the townhouse C has a bigger floor area compared to the single detached because the single detached has a, has a typical floor area of 53.24 compared to the townhouse C, which is 60. Okay, so why is that so? No, so normally that is really the um, typical townhouse C of all Casabira South, but um, for the single detached, if we're going to make the floor area bigger, then we're going also to make the total contract price higher. So what we are trying to do here is to balance it off. No, So if you want a bigger area, but you do not want a single detached unit, then you can go to townhouse C. But if you want a um, not so big floor area, but you want a single detached unit, then you can go to our single detached unit. So that's the only difference. And you have to explain that to your buyer. No? So basically, this is just to ensure that our single detached is not very, very um, expensive. No, It's just good balance. And it's very, very affordable still. Okay. Now, for... So this is our house features. No, So we have the, um, the typical finish of our house. Okay, so for the living, dining, kitchen, and bedroom, we have ceramic floor tiles. For the toilet and bath, it's still ceramic floor tiles from the floor to the wall. And then for the doors, um, the main door is solid panel door. Bedroom is flush door. Uh, we have a clear glass windows on aluminum frames. Um, bathroom fixture is included and complete. And then we will be also um, delivering base kitchen cabinet with granite countertop. And then the wall, uh, the interior wall finish is painted. And then the exterior, so we have wall accents, painted concrete walls, and other facade accessories. And then the roof is pre-painted long span. In other words, we will deliver the unit finished. When we say finished, it is already livable. If the unit owner does not want to have it interior, they can already bring in bring in their things, no, and put it there, and then they can live in the unit already. Okay, so we also have more amenities. You know, when we conceptualize this project, we are really thinking of um, giving more to our Filipino community. That's why even if it's an, an affordable project, we're able to give a lot of amenities you know, in all of our Casamira project. So these are the typical amenities that we are offering. So that is clubhouse. We have swimming pool and kiddie pool. We have children's play area. We have park. We have rotunda garden. We have chapel. We have main entrance with guardhouse. We have perimeter fence and landscaping. So we have some. Um, right. <laughs> so these are some of the perspective, no architect's perspective of the unit. So um, this is the sample ground floor interior. Okay. So this is the bedroom interior. And then we have clubhouse. Okay, so it's it's an open type clubhouse, no? And then another angle of the clubhouse. And this is the aerial view of the clubhouse. And then we have the swimming pool. We have the chapel, of course, as always. And then this is the outside uh, feature of the clubhouse. Then we have the children's play area. Okay, so this is now the price list. No, um, The reason why we are putting the price list is to really properly explain because um, as you all know, this is the first time um, Sibulan Master is here in Butuan and we have a lot of new sellers. No, So we are really taking time to explain um, of our price list now. And the first column, no, you will see the details like the face, the block, 
the lot, the lot area, the model, no? So A, A, A is townhouse A, B is townhouse B, C is townhouse C, and D is the single detached unit. So for the house, it's either um, the unit is in the mid portion of the cluster or an end unit and or corner. So FA means that's a uh, floor area. And then for the second column, that's the pricing, okay? So you have here the list price. Now the list price is the total exposure of the unit, no? The unit, uh, the, the house. And then we have the transfer charges. Of course, you are very much aware that the transfer charges pertains to the titling and other charges. And then list price plus transfer charges equals total contract price. Now, the reservation is 20,000 irregardless of unit of choice, be it a townhouse or a single detached. Now, on the third portion of our price list is where you can see our payment options. No, So this is where um, you will discuss to your buyer um, what payment option that they would like, okay? So for payment option number two, that is spot cash, meaning the total TCP um, already with 8% discount, no? The discount is being applied on the list price, no? Not on the total contract price because we cannot discount the transfer charges because we're going to pay it to the different government agencies, no, so when we get the 8%, we get the 8% in the list price. Okay, so that's the spot cash. Now, for payment option three, um, we are offering spot 12% down payment with 5% discount. Okay, and then the balance, which is 88%, is through bank financing. Now, we also have payment option four. We are offering spot 25 and we will give 10% discount. And then the 9.5% down payment, we're going to spread it over 47 months. Um, as we move along, no, I'd like to explain why we are doing this payment option. No, And then the 88% is through bank financing. Okay. Now, the easiest payment terms that we're offering to our buyers is the um, payment scheme number six. Okay. So that's 12% um, down payment based on the total contract price, and then we're going to spread it 48 months. So it's a straight spread, no? And then um, the 88% is through bank financing. Now, our price list is very, very simple, no? It's very, very easy to understand, okay? So just take time to really um, kind of study lang a little bit on this so that you can explain very well to your buyers. Okay, so we have I have already provided last night, no, or yesterday, the site development plan, the price list, so that you can already start talking to your buyers and then um letting them choose the unit that they want. Okay, so for the sample computation, I'd like to, as I've said, no, I'd like to explain why payment we are offering payment option four, which is 2.5 um spot DP with 10% discount and then the 9.5 um, spread over 47 months. So we have here you know, the floor area, the lot area, we have the total contract price, the spot 2.5 with 10% discount, and then the 9.5 spread over 47 months, the reservation fee, and then the 88% you know, through bank financing. So this is for the townhouse A. You no, know? Floor area is 42 Lot area is 48. Total contract price is 2.6, uh, which is the kanang pinaka um, minimum. No? And then the spot 2.5 is only 47,200. Okay? Now, the 9.5 spread over 47 months will be as low as 5,500. Now, why we are offering this? No? The 47 thousand two hundred as a spot two point five is not very heavy in the bucket. However, the recurring payment, which is the forty seven months, no, we want to lower it. That's why we are offering the um spot two point five. So can you imagine you already own a unit with paying long monthly five thousand five hundred okay per month? But please remember that for 
for our buyers to get the 5,500, they're going to pay the spot 2.5 down payment amounting to 47,200. The reservation fee is 20,000 and then 88% is through bank financing. For townhouse B, no? So you have 48.41, 48 square meters lot area, total contract price is 2.9. Okay. Now, the spot 2.5 is 53,200. And then we're going to spread it over 47 months on 9.5. So that will give you 6,000 pesos per month. Now, for townhouse C, floor area is 60, flat area is 61.69. Total contract price is 3.4. And then the 2.5. 5 spot DP is 65,100. No, it's still very affordable for a bigger townhouse. Okay. And then the 9.5 spread over 47 months, um, that will give you 6,900 per month. And then reservation is 20,000. For the 88%, no, through bank financing, that is 2.9. For the single detached unit, okay, so this is how it looks like. Floor area is 53.24. That area is 80. Total contract price is 5.2. This is the minimum, no, because there are also single detached houses that have bigger lots, okay? Now, the 2.5 spot DP is 100,100, no? Very easy to recall, 100, 100. And then the 9.5% spread over 47 months, that will give you 10,600. So can you imagine no, you have a bigger space, bigger townhouse, a three bed, um, a single unit, a single unit, no, a single detached unit. Um, you are already pay, you are only paying 10,600. Okay, so the 20, the reservation is still 20,000. And then the balance is through bank financing, which is five. 4.5, okay? Now, for payment option 5, which is the easiest payment terms that we are offering to our client, no? So, this is straight, okay? Now, for the townhouse A, total contract price is 2.6 still, and then 12% spread over 48 months. So, that will give you 6,000 Four hundred. It is still affordable, no? Ang 6,400. Now, why we are um, spreading it 48 months? Because within 48 months, we will be, um, we will already develop the area, no? And we will already start, um, uh, we will be constructing the houses. And within 48 months, we will be able to turn over it, no? Um, by facing. Reservation still 20. And then, um, 2.3 is through bank financing. For townhouse B, um, total contract price is still 2.9. Then 12% spread over 48 months, that's 7,000. Okay? And the rest still the same. 20 and 2.5 is through bank financing. For townhouse C, okay, the monthly equity is 8,200 per month. Okay? So not bad. No, it's still very, very affordable. And for the single detached unit, no, that's 12500 per month. So um, these are the payment options that we would like you to offer to your buyer, buyers, no, especially if they really want a very, very low equity, um, monthly equity, so that they can really sustain the equity payment until the, the end, no, until the 40, 48 months. So you you might as well offer the option four when it we're in they will just pay a little um a little one time amount and then the recurring monthly payment is still very very affordable. But this payment option five as well is still affordable. No, so it's a it's a um you have to ask the buyer on their capacity and if not no you can can still um, endorse no what payment option that will suit the um, the financial capacity okay now for the reservation requirements okay for those of you who are not yet very familiar with how CLI do things no so these are the complete requirements that CLI would ask 
but for the reservation no meaning um during the time that we will um accept reservation um of course there's a reservation fee but um we will also ask the completely filled out and signed buyer's information sheet so the buyer's information sheet no is um kanang is the details of the buyer we will ask for one government issued id no anyways i will not expound on this because on the succeeding slides i will also explain what are these requirements okay 